Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Now I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Are you sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. 
So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open. Like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie. Yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you... You've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First, you settle for the mocks. Now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Well, can't ever rule violence out. You two done bickering over diddly squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And don't get me wrong, Jude. I'd gladly sit and catch up. Been quite a while since we last talked. But you're not safe here at Clouds. Especially not with him at your side. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. <sighs> she didn't even let me make my point. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. 
She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and playing a knife for you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Fuck off! the ground floor. Get out of this place. I don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Hey, if it works, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're Please. talking to? What do you need? Well, we need the pipe fixed, that's for sure. Maybe something to fix up some of the units, too. There's water damage all over. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. <laughs> 